So one of the things that we do not want to ever have is we never want to have confusion between classes on where you put your information when you are working with a research organizer. So um, throughout each of your classes, we use a, basically the same research organizer so that you know exactly what it needs through each class. You just, the information is going to change based on your research. So first thing you're going to do is um, you will make a copy of this and you will rename it whatever project you're working on or whatever topic you're researching. One of the great things about doing it on a Google Slides is that you can easily um, make copies of each one and it doesn't change anything. It won't like move things down on a page because each question is on a different slide as you can see. Now one thing that you can, and I've got it all organized where you can actually put your question in here. So you can actually type your question here and then you just go down here to the table and you work there. Now, when I put keywords used, um, some topics can have different things, um, the different ways to type them in order to look them up. Let's take World War II, for example. Um, there are like five different ways you could put World War II, World War Number Two, World War... Um, sorry, WWII, WW2, there's just many different ways to put it. So however you look it up for that question is what you want to put there. So if you have to re-research it, you've got it in. Now the next box is your citation. Now when you are doing a database, what's great about it is you always have the exact, in, sorry, in databases you actually can have the citation made completely for you. You don't have to worry about figuring it out. It's already created for you. Wherever, if you're, so website and book, you're going to need to do my bib, and I've got another video to show you how to do that. So all you have to do is copy and paste it in this block right here. Then on the next, on the last box is any information that you have found in this place to answer this question. Now I do bullet points because one of the things we want to make sure we never do is plagiarize. Taking the exact words written in our um, in whatever place we found it and keeping it and copying and pasting it. We never copy and paste. The only thing we copy and paste is the citation. So as you're doing it, I just like making bullet points of basic information so that you can get all that down and know that you did not copy it. Now there might if you have a kind of a generic question, um, who was involved in World War II, for example, you might actually have to have a multiple places that you get information. So like this might be, if we're using databases, this might be um, World Book or Encyclopedia Britannica. Then this one might be Research in Context. And so that you might have to find information in different places in order to complete the answer to the question. So that's why we do it on all of these. So if you, um, as you do it, so that's question number one, and then you can move down to question number two. And you, and if you ever need to, if there's a four and a five question, you can always copy and paste the Google slide.